You are about to listen to the message from Pastor Dr. Alfred Hajifowe, the General Overseer of Evangelical Christ Apostolic Church. Prepare your mind to receive from the Lord. Glory be to the Lord in the highest children of God. We thank God Almighty this morning. For God Almighty will be helping us. And from the beginning of this year and the beginning of this month. Now today, children of God, we want to learn more about the topic we have been treating uh, about Rehoboth this morning. And I pray that God Almighty, God of Rehoboth, we do likewise in our life and we have our own Rehoboth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to speak briefly about acknowledge God. That uh, we need to acknowledge God in all things. As we read from the book of Genesis, that Genesis chapter 26, verse 22, that say, And he removes from things, and did another word. And for that, the strong Lord, and he called the name of it Rehoboth. And he said, For now God has made room for us. And we shall be fruitful in the land. So, children of God, we can see what the Bible tells us in that Genesis 26, verse 22. Let me tell you, children of God, after Isaac has stretched himself, you know, digging a different world, and the enemy have been conquering uh, uh, the world with art. So, when he now did the la this last word, you cannot see what happened uh, unto this man. He said, when he have done that one, and he beat the water, and the water was coming out very well. And behold, the God Almighty intervened, and the enemy could not cover that well. And that was why he now said, that God has made room for us. By saying, that is the meaning of Rehoboth. So, children of God, we need to acknowledge God in all things, in everything, whatever that we achieve in life. Never you think that it was your might, you know, your wisdom that uh, give you wisdom to, you know, to, to, to make things in life. You know, it was in our ability, not our knowledge, not our strength that give us any achievement in life. We can see this of uh, 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 I see, I see it acknowledge God. So, children of God, we must know that we need to learn how to acknowledge our God. Because so many people don't they, they believe that it was their strength, their wisdom, the ability that you know give them breakthrough. It is not like that. So it was the power of God, the anointing of God, the grace of God that give you know, are the children of God, uh, you know, success in life. Because I see again, the world very hard. He's not a lazy man until God gave him victory. And I pray for everyone that are hearing me today that God Almighty will give each of us a uh, total, no, total victory. Not only a small victory, but total victory in the mighty name of Jesus. The book of Proverbs tells us something that Proverbs chapter 3, verse 6 that says, In all thy ways acknowledge him. Uh, and he shall direct thy path. Acknowledge him, he shall direct your path. So, children of God, learn how to acknowledge God. When you acknowledge God, he will, you know, he will be willing and he will be happy to direct your path. So many people today, not just flushing them, not people just putting at them because they don't, you know, acknowledge God. They don't appreciate God. They don't show themselves as, a, you know, as children of God. So, the, uh, this, uh, Book of Proverbs was now telling you and I that in all thy ways acknowledge him that he acknowledge God. And he said, and he shall direct your path. So without the directions of God, you cannot make anything, you cannot succeed. So, children of God, acknowledge God and let God direct your path. When you direct your path, you will not be great. I pray that none of us will regret in the mighty name of Jesus. So, children of God. When we acknowledge God, if it was there that he will 
need to direct our path. So you need to learn how to acknowledge God. So never you know think that uh, whatever that is happening to you, that uh, 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 you you are doing it by your own might or by your own reason. You need to acknowledge God. You know, no matter how strength you are, no matter the the, you know, the strength that uh, whatever that you are causing, because you have caused you. You need to learn how to acknowledge God. Because if you don't have to acknowledge God, you are not grateful. So as a children of God, we must be grateful. So God Almighty uh, like our you know, appreciation. So you need to acknowledge God. Look at what the Bible tells us in the book of uh, St. John chapter 11, verses 42. And I know that thou hearest me always, that in Jesus Christ was coming there, was praying to his father. He said, I know that you hear me always. But because of, of the people, we stand there uh, by. I said it that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Look at that. He acknowledged his father for the assignment that is before him. And it was so. You know, Jesus Christ raised Lazarus because, he, you know, by the power uh, uh, that had been given to him by his father. Lazarus was a dead man who had been buried. And, you know, he, uh, Jesus Christ still bring him back to life because he knew uh, to appreciate, you know, to appreciate the, 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 the power of God uh, and what God can do. He appreciated God and God Almighty answered his son prayer because it was Jesus Christ that was talking there. So, and Jesus will be honored. And I pray, uh, Every one of us today that may God be honored in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. So, children of God, forget about whatever that uh, is so stressed over the thing that you are pursuing. Or maybe you have been stressful, you know, uh, over one project or the other. And you let that now achieve the, you know, your goal. Never you think that uh, uh, by your wisdom, you use your wisdom to, have, to, to acknowledge. Or, or, or the user, you're not there to achieve what, what you want. No, it's not like that. So you must acknowledge God, believe God, and you make sure that uh, you, know, you allow God in your life for Him to glorify Himself in your life. And I pray that, that Jesus Christ will glorify Himself in our life, in our businesses, in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, many students today. Believe that in the, in the, in the past, they say, ah, it was because uh, I did, because I, I you know, I, 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 I do a lot of things. I study uh, both day and night, and that was why they were able to, to achieve uh, their goal. No! Anything that you are doing, you need to acknowledge God. Your, your behavior towards God will show or uh, determine what God will still do for you. So God Almighty wants us to appreciate Him. So, children of God, make sure that you learn how to appreciate God. Because uh, never you think that it was your own wisdom alone that gives you victory over uh, you know, uh, all those things that are passing through. And I pray that every one of us, we will all get to, uh, to the place of our destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. So, children of God, even though you that are doing well today, I want to tell you, I want to see you, believe and have faith in Christ and you, may, and you surrender unto him. When you surrender unto him, he will surely surprise you. May God Almighty surprise every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. So children of God, we must see what I see there here. That I see, and you know, that's not the man that is struggling with God and not of uh, uh, well. And the enemy were attacking him. But this time around, uh, he really appreciate the goodness of God, uh, you know, uh, for God to give him that uh, uh, the hopeless, you know, for God to give him that uh, this is the, the, the end of the, uh, the, the, the oppression of the enemy so far in life. And I pray that God Almighty be target the work of the enemy in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. So, children of God, so I want to ask you. Uh, after you know, uh, you have succeeded on whatever that you lay your hand on, uh, on whatever.
whatever you see in your life, let me ask you, do you really appreciate God? Or do you think that it was your effort day and night uh, that made you to succeed? And do you believe that uh, it was uh, uh, my mother backed me up, my parents backed me up, my, uh, my friend backed me up? That was why I was able to succeed. No, you need to accept God uh, because God is the only one that allows us, uh, you know, to be alive. I know some people who are, uh, you know, always, although to the edge of their breakthrough, and stay and strap uh, on their life. I pray that Satan will not strike in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Never you think that is what your your hard work that brings things uh, you know to not to be normal for you or to that uh, you, uh, give you promotion. It will be just like that. You need to acknowledge God that God Almighty has given you and I the grace, you know, to succeed. The time we in that chapter at eight, verse 18, that say, but uh, uh, thou shall remember the Lord thy God, for it is he. That gave it the power to get away. You can see that was God who gave us power to get rich. Never you think that uh, it was your wisdom or your knowledge that uh, give you uh, a, a power. You know, when they ask some people, they will say, uh, those in the academy, they will say, ah, I read that not sleep there and I, it is, it, it is good for you to read. You must read. But at the same time, let me tell you, some people they read and read. There are people not there, they pass the exam. Yeah? So, and some people, not everyone that they, you know, that they, uh, pass the exam or, or that did not pass the exam, that, that doesn't know what they are doing. Let me tell you, if you read and read, you do not the type of the person that is going to mark your, your paper. So, you need prayer. It might be someone that will be marked your paper than me. Satan will need a circle. And I pray that uh, Satan will not be a circle. Any of, uh, uh, of our people who have been exam in the mighty name of Jesus. But what I'm saying, acknowledge God. When you acknowledge God, God will be happy with you and give you more power to, you know, to, to move forward, to go to, to, to the next level of your life. So God Almighty was the one who gave us uh, power to get work on earth. So not our wisdom. So when it, 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 uh, your time has come, God Almighty will be sure they do it for you. So please, children of God, how to make work is in the hands of God. Uh, a story uh, about uh, two people. You know, the story says that uh, two of them, one was, you know, they were both doing business. One was making it and, uh, you know, he's, he's making it, but he doesn't appreciate God. He doesn't acknowledge God. But one that knows God, but he, you know, this is not moving well with, uh, with him. But, you know what? This man, that is, you know, this is not going well with him. Uh, always give thanks to God. Always appreciate the goodness of God. Always thank God for you was alive. Always say, I believe that God Almighty will change in my situation. And the other person will just be grumbling. Will just be talking. Will just be murmuring. And, you know, but suddenly, the one that, uh, you know, was breaking little little uh, things before. This one now begin to go down for him. And you know, he couldn't know the reason why those things happen. But the one that always appreciate God and this is not a uh, well okay with the, you know, the table that turn and the other brother now begin to get wet and, and so on. And behold, before we know it, the other man have got rich because he knows how to appreciate God. And God was so happy with him to bless him, to change his situation. So, children of God, if you want God to change your situation, you need to, you know, to learn how to acknowledge God. So, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Almighty God, we thank you for this month of October, that this is the last uh, Sunday of, the, of this month. God, as a matter of the name of Jesus, Almighty oh, God, I commit your son to your hand. Oh, oh, those who are hearing me now, that my brother, that our sister, that our, uh, our, our uh, senior brother, senior sister, that are hearing me now, I pray that God Almighty will bless you and uh, your own the whole world uh, that time has come today in the mighty name of Jesus. You will move from glory to glory. 
not from today, no other others in your life. You will move to the next level of your life and you will have your own breakthrough. As you know, God Almighty surprised and supported I see. He will do likewise in your life. Every satanic hand concerning you is withered in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Fires from above will consume every obstacle on your way in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And the fire and break will never happen to you in the name of Jesus. You will finish this, this, this year well in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. Children of God, thank you. See you next month. By God's grace. Bye for now.